Ume, an agrarian community in Isoko's south local government area of Delta State, produces gari as a major food. The recent flood destroyed almost all the farmlands indigenous of the community rely on for survival. The only access road from the east-west road is still flooded. Sections of the only road to Ume community have been destroyed by flood. See the place now? I told you maybe that. See, see. They see the road as a the flood or cut road. In at the market before. See the same. The only market where traders from far and near come to do business every four days has also been submerged. Traders have to relocate to a section on the east-west road to do their transactions. Farmlands and homes belonging to indigenous of Ume community have all been overtaken by flood. Farmers hurriedly harvested their cassava from their farms, while others who do not have access to canoes left their cassava destroyed by flood. Sacks of grounded cassava littered both sides of the only road into Ume community. Women could be seen frying gari and hear we had their complaints. When the water pursue us, there's no other way. When we have to take all of us have to take to transportation. Those of you who have motor, you cannot drive your motor, you have to keep your motor aside. We use cyclists, another means for transport and canoe to transport. As, as far, because of the flood, we cannot we cannot we go change, there. We cannot go there for the market. That is why you see this place. We just manage here to make sure we get some things to, to, to feed ourselves. In the parish, the parish to harvest, now we harvest the tree. I hope the day the one we harvest, they're not going to stop us. Okay, we we'll harvest another one. Go on. This road, when it comes, yeah. it affects us well. well. Nice. Our house break finish. Mm. Gary said we not get anything. Our people said they die. We not get anything. Now suffer less. Ray beat us well, well for you. A house, we not see sleep. Now road, now we sleep. Some other indigenous of Ume community narrate their plight. Mm -hmm. uh, the flood is uh, affecting us. It really affect us very well because if you go to the primary school now, you can see the evidence. A lot of houses have collapsed in this community. And when you go to the primary school, there are a camp there where people are living there. So various, various houses have collapsed in this community. Our cassava, cassava stand. Our house is covered water, many, many things. They never feel just can't they finish, but many flood destroy many things. We got the cassava, I rescued my cassava with my children. Where the flood called, we decided to run for the house, we have to other places. After that, where the flood are going back, as we come back to look for our house, we have got a drive back, we call call, we call clear the environment and everything. Yes. We call call back to come and fry the garden. After Friday, the garden, where the flood are dry, reach the way we can go back to our farm to go and plant the tree. We will call, go back to plant the cassava and all the rest. Meanwhile, two camps meant for internally displaced persons have been opened at Ume Primary School and the Community Town Hall. Victims of flood including aged women and her former community chairman, she Philip Utoro, told the RTV News that the state government, through the SOPADEC, provided them some relief materials. I think uh, we got little... The president brought some uh, bag of rice, some, some foam, all this uh, CCC foam. I think that was the only thing that came from the government. From the support, the support. I was aware this year when the flood just came unexpectedly and took away all our farmlands. Even if you look around, you see houses that are collapsed. Even people that even died because of ignorance of, they are not aware that the water will be as much as this. But before they knew, the flood took them unaware. So, in fact, it's not easy for people in this area. They explained that the relief materials were shared among all the quarters in Ume community. The flood victims, however, want more relief from both the state and federal government agencies. Joel Singh, the RTV News.